Um, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is, again, when we're looking at this, um, first thing I told you guys with the multiplication, we have another rule. So we talked about the identity element for simplifying. The next element, the next element would be in the multiplication. And what we talked about with the multiplication is if you have the nth root of x times the nth root of y, that equals the nth root of x times y. So we can leave these under the same radical. And that was something we actually also talked about with simplifying. But it's a very important rule. So as long as my index, which in this case is the same, right? These are both square roots. As long as my index is the same, all I do is multiply my radicands. Now, it's my preference for you guys to, instead of just always multiplying, is to simplify first, then multiply, then simplify again. The reason why I say this is because I guarantee when you guys have these types of problems, remember how your, remember the uh, scrimmage was half calculator, half non-calculator, right? I guarantee everything in this chapter that we're doing is going to be on the non-calculator portion. So um, it's going to be best to make sure you simplify these first. Now, I can't really simplify anything here. However, here, I could break this up. 8 is not a square number, but I can rewrite that as 4 times 2x, correct? Or 4 times 2, right? So 4 is a square number. So therefore, I have 4 times the square root of 2x times 6 times the square root of 2x. Well, now my index is the same. My radicands actually have to be the same, but that doesn't really matter. So all you do is you multiply the numbers on the outside, 24, times the square root of 2x squared. And what's the square root of 2x squared? 2x. 2x times 24 is? There you go. Done, son.